Hello, hello, hello. What's up, guys? Oh, hey. crap. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Luke Cage. Mike Coulter, yeah. Same guy, right? What's up? Sweet Christmas. Like, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. Man, I was in the neighborhood. I just did Kevin's show uh, on San Diego Comic Con. He said, stop by, and, uh, you know, we're filming in New York, so I figured, why not? Why not come by? And you're filming? Luke Cage season two. Oh. Yeah. It was crazy when he walked in, right? I mean, impressive. I mean, yeah. the guns. I mean, it's Luke Cage. Yes. <laughs> He's a dapper, debonair gentleman, but he is jacked. You were a big Luke Cage Power Man fan going way back, so I figured him coming through the door, you'd be like, <laughs> I've been a Luke Cage Power Man fan for at least as long as you have. And I mean, he is every inch Power Man. Looks the part, he walks the part. <laughs> I think it was the every inch. <laughs> the power man is what got <laughs> Season two is going to be good, really good. You got any inside dirt you can give us? Any kind of? Well, I'll tell you this. Second season is going to be a lot of badassery, a lot more fighting. I'm going to be squaring off against a lot of people, so it's going to be fun. So darker than season one? Yeah, this a little darker than season one. It's so relevant, it feels like this is what would happen if superheroes were walking around the streets. This is what it would be like. Yeah, that's why this feels so crazy. Like, I know Luke Cage is a character, but it's so real. Like, it, like it's, it's almost so, too real. Yeah, it's almost too real sometimes. I, I yeah. feel like Luke Cage is in the stash right now. <laughs> so did he. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Cage, what a storied history. He's been a defender. He's been an Avenger. Member of the Fantastic Four. And a member of the Fantastic Four. I mean, this guy has cemented his place in the Marvel Universe as a upper echelon character. How do you like to call him? You like to call him Luke Luke Cage, or you like to call him Power Man? Because I know he's got the two names. It's like a 50-50 split. You know, some people call him Luke Cage, some call him Power Man. And the reason is because in issue 17 of Luke Cage, Hero for Hire, the title changed to Luke Cage, Power Man. He felt he needed a snappier name in this superhero community. He did, or the marketing department at Marvel? <laughs> <laughs> you guys got some, some really good comic periods. What I'm looking for is like, what is the first time where uh, Luke Cage, you know, Power Man, meets up with Iron Fist? And so I don't, I don't have that one. We just got it in. That's that's what I got want. That's what I want. The very first comic where Power Man and Iron Fist became a team. Wow. Tough for any actor to walk into any role. Even tougher for an actor to walk into a role that people know. There are a lot of people that are like, I've read Luke Cage my whole life. You better do this right. There's a high bar to reach for 50 years of fandom. Yeah. This is awesome. Can we yeah, take, you want to take it out? Take it out? Yeah, sure. Artwork by John oh, Byrne. Man. I know, I'm sure you're well aware of the relationship that Luke Cage will have mm -hmm. know, with Daniel Rand, right? The Iron Fist. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So what's great about it is that Danny Rand, you know, boy billionaire, born with a silver spoon in his mouth, and you have Luke Cage, who was from the, from the streets. I mean, but blue collar, like, had to earn his keep. The two of them meet up. Of course, there's going to be some tension. Things are going to be different. I mean, even their fighting styles, everything's different. So, you know, sometimes opposites attract. Well, it sounds like you really are interested in the comic, and it, you're going to need this for reference material, I imagine. Uh, you know, so. Yeah. I think a fair price for this would be what? Uh, what, what? $30. $30? Are you going to make him pay for this? Come on. Right, man. right, right. <laughs> Finally, somebody, as the voice of reason, people assume because you're on the telly that you're just pooping money, you know? Oh, yeah, they just, yeah, yeah. I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. Since I tend to sign things from time to time. What if you have some other cage book or something like that that I could sign and I can take this with me? What do you think? Okay. Absolutely. Sounds we just, good. We, uh, right. we just got some cage comics sitting around. What do you got? Let's see what I got. A stack of Luke Cage number ones, Marvel Comics. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> $30 worth of Cage Comics. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, fair enough. Deal? All right. All right. All right. My street cred's going to go, oh wow. my god. <laughs> huh? Walt, Walt wins again. Whatever you do, don't come back in a couple days to see what he marked them up to. <laughs> I don't, don't want to know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Pleasure, guys. Have a good one. Can't wait. Thank you, Mike.